Beautiful people of planet Earth and creators of all types. One of the things that I found was really maddening was to try to get better photos of myself solo while I'm doing thumbnails and graphics and art and such. I have all of these cameras that I use for video, but getting a shot that it doesn't look like a, I'm doing a selfie and getting those photos and then pulling them into software and getting the background removed and pulling them into thumbnails and doing all of that kind of stuff was, was pretty much a cumbersome process. But I watched a video that was by another a creator who's fantastic and you should follow as well. And her name is Mary Lou Mandel. And she was talking about this great new function in one of the, my favorite pieces of software, which is called Ecamm Live. And this function is called Take Photo. So while you're doing your video or whatever, you can do a hotkey and it will take a still shot of whatever you're doing within Ecamm. And she went through and did this whole demonstration. I thought it was fantastic. But one thing I noticed is that when you do a hotkey, you have to use two hands on a keyboard sometimes, or stretch your hand out one way, long ways. And sometimes you wanna have two hands out when you do something, or sometimes you've got an item that you wanna hold while you're doing it and you wanna screenshot, because what you wanna do is you wanna create a thumbnail. So in Ecamm, you could do something like create graphics, something like this, and then you have this item that you're holding out. Maybe you also want to do this and do this and do whatever. But how do you do that hands-free, right? One of the things you could do is Elgato has this foot pedal, which is like a stream deck. And I'll show you my stream deck that I have here below. It's like a stream deck, except you run it with your foot. I thought, well, I don't want to do that. There's got to be a better way. Aha! There is. And so I'm going to show you how to initiate the Ecamm take photo function and your stream deck and be able to have both your hands free in order to do that. So first I'm going to show you really quickly. I'm going to go into kind of show you under the hood here on Ecamm. They have what's called live demo mode. And what live demo mode allows you to do is you can see here in Ecamm, this is how everything looks and how you have all of your layers and all of the, you can do all this stuff that is, looks really complicated, but once you get the hang of it, it is really amazing, quite frankly. But up here at the top, you'll see where it says recording. When I hit recording, you'll see save photo, and then you'll see what the hotkey is in order to do save photo, which is shift command G. And so I'm going to go out of live demo mode and I'm going to go here into my overhead mode. So you can see if I go shift command G here, it will take a photo. So I'm just going to smile. And underneath here on my screen, it says photo saved. And then when I go to where I have all of my stuff saved. And so now this is where all of my all of my photos that I've taken here. And so I click on that and there's the photo right here of me that I just took. And it just popped into the folder. Now you can go into Ecamm and select where all your photos go when you save something and you'll have it all nice and organized. And that's all well and good, but you saw what I had to do, right? I had to basically do this. Well, I thought, okay, let me do this. Let me program it into my stream deck. So when I hit the button, then I it will take the photo of me, which is great, but I still am using my finger to touch the button to do that. And here is how you set up a multi-action on your Stream Deck, which first when you hit it, it creates a delay. You determine the amount of length of time for that delay. If you want to wait three seconds, five seconds, 10 seconds, I don't know how many, however many seconds, I don't know what the limit is, before you're ready and nice and pretty and holding the thing. And it will then take your screenshot and save that. So I'm going to show you right now my stream deck and this is the elgato software that comes with your stream deck and we're going to show you how to set this up really quickly so down here i've got an empty spot to put a multi action or yeah multi action is the name of it right here and you can find this it's inherent in the software so i'm just going to grab multi action i'm going to drag this over to this button and now we are in the multi action window and you can see here at the bottom this is the icon that it gives you you can change the icon in the software however you want you want to give this a title we're going to give this screen grab ecam all right and so now it's waiting for actions okay so we want the first action that we want is we want a delay 
We want when we hit the button for it to have a delay of time. And so I'll go down here back to the multi-action and right under the multi-action, you're gonna see delay. So I'm gonna grab that delay, I'm gonna drag that up here. And so now we have a multi-action delay prompt. And then here I'm gonna call this delay. I'm really getting creative with these titles. So here's delay, and then this is in milliseconds. And for those of you who don't operate in milliseconds, 1,000 milliseconds is one second, right? So I like to have three seconds of time, so I'm gonna have that be 3,000 milliseconds. Now you can make it 5,000 if you want five seconds, you want 10 seconds is 10,000, you get the idea. And so that's the first function of the multi-action or the first action I should say and the second action that we want is a hotkey because this is the hotkey that we want Ecamm to do the screenshot with which is what you remember was shift command G so the quickest way for me to find hotkeys I go up to the search function and I'm going to type in hotkey and there is hotkey and I'm gonna drag that is my next action in the multi-action screen grab Ecamm. And you can see down here, it's looking for a title and the hotkey. So here I'm gonna, I'm gonna call this hotkey E screen grab. And then when I click on hotkey, it will then wait for me to hit the keys that it wants to use as the hotkey. Of course, this is shift command G. So I'm gonna click to assign and it says observing keystrokes. So from here, I'm gonna hit shift, Command G, and you can see that's populated right there. So now I've created a multi-action with a three second delay followed by the hotkey to create a screen grab and Ecamm. So I can pop out of that and you can see there it is there. And if I switch down here to my stream deck, you can see that it has created that and it mirrors that right here. So at this point, what you can do, and I'll show you this example, is I'm going to hit the button and you can see, just so you can see right now what it looks like after I hit the button, and you can watch what this does. You can see it's timing like a little bit of a clock and then it will finish. And that lets you know that it went through that function. And then that created a screenshot, but I wanna create a real screenshot so you can kind of see what we're doing. So I'm going to go over here to a scene that I created, which is the Shure SM 7 db reveal and we're going to create a real thumbnail live ladies and gentlemen with ecamm live and the stream deck and you creating a multi-action with the delay and so i'll do the thumbnail face right everybody do the thumbnail face and i'm going to hit the screen grab button and count down from three and get myself ready so here i go i'm hitting the button three and it says photo saved. I probably could have done a better shot than that, but we'll see. And I'm gonna go to my photos, which I had up here before, and I'll share that with you. And so here is what I just took. I'm gonna double click that, and I'm gonna bring that over. So there we go. That's what I just created, quick and dirty, but probably could have been better. I could, probably could have lined myself up better to get myself a little bit more clear. But anyway, it gives you the idea, certainly, and the functionality that this exists. I certainly hope this video helps you.